Ben? I can't claim that I know you very well because I think you're the person who just came in when I was not around. But over the last six months, or actually over the last 12 months, I think you know, your energy and particularly your good nature, your good heartedness, and your resourcefulness, as well as your craziness in taking pictures of just about everything, just about everything. <laughs> and sometimes I wonder, you know, how could anybody do that? In any case, I think Ben is one of those characters that I would remember for the rest of my life. And I thank you for, again, you know, giving me that particular fond memories when I look back. Next to Ben is Gwen. Gwen, I would call her as the quiet one. The quiet one. Gwen has this ability to sit quietly, seemingly without showing any sort of emotion. <laughs> but, my God, I mean, when you read her essay, when you read her assignment, you know that she's listening. You know that you know, she's absorbing. And this is because of the different kinds of students, for example, like Buddha, allows me to learn how to be an effective teacher, that I should not be prejudging people. So for that, I also thank you for enlightening me in terms of not making any assumption about any student. Thank you. Then there's Inish. Inish is very interesting because the first impression of Inish was that, my God, this woman is like a bomb. <laughs> and indeed, what impressed me about Inish was that she's very straightforward. Inish is very direct. But she's also extremely, extremely serious about her study. And particularly with her background in environmental science. And particularly when somebody from a science background is trying to do something social, that takes a lot of guts. And I really admire you for that. And thank you, English. Then there's Helen. <laughs> I remember Helen was the first class in MDP. Took me a while. Took you a while. <laughs> but Helen was wonderful. Helen blew me away with, again, the research proposal. I remember the seminar. And of course, like Michael, Helen's group was very beautiful in terms of all the graphics. But of course, there's also about Helen. Helen's always full of energy. Helen's always, and in some ways, I think MDP is perfect for Helen because I think what's MDP stands for? Helen has this answer. And if you do MDP, same thing. Master of Social. So MVP just stands for the last of dinner parties. <laughs> but I have to admit that you know, Helen's greatest achievement has been the death track race. And in this occasion, let me take advantage of this occasion. Because Helen is finally getting very involved in social planning. And she doesn't want to ignore that language. 